Hey guys, what's going on and uh, welcome back to Faz Frights. So, last time we actually did the Asylum mission for Intermediate. So if you haven't seen that video, I definitely recommend you go watch it. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't tense or anything, I'm not going to lie. It was actually a pretty easy ghost. Um, but that does mean that we are permanently off of Intermediate. Sound the celebration alarms, I don't know. Um, but that does mean we're off of Intermediate, which means... Let me just get to it here. We can go to professional. Three times multiplier. Which is going to be great. Um, so yeah. Um, I, I want to point out too. You've already seen this on screen while I've been talking. Um, I first of all have been playing off camera. And second of all, because of that, I have like I have some tier 3 stuff. So I have a tier 3 flashlight. I have a tier 3 spirit box. Which actually is technically sort of the old spirit box. The way it worked before. And I have a tier 3 EMF. I think that's all the tier 3 stuff I have. I don't have a single tier 1 item. I have all tier 2 stuff except for the things I just mentioned, which are tier 3. So, I don't consider it cheating just because that wasn't... I can't do anything about that. Um, I guess you could say I didn't have to buy them to upgrade them. But at the same time, I want to kind of experience new stuff. And, to be fair, if it's new and it has a new mechanic, then I'm going to be completely confused. And it actually might end up with me dying. So, <laughs> you never know. Um, hopefully that's not the case. Um, speaking of dying, I cannot play as... Oh, well, I could play as Ryan, but if I do that... So, Ryan had bold. He got the trait bold last time when we did the asylum. And that means at, when the ghost hunts, he has to look at the ghost before he can hide. So, if he's in, like, a different room, like, he has to chase down the ghost or find the ghost first, look at it, and then hide. So, that's why it's called bold. So, we're going to play as Adam here, who is one of the three that do not have a single trait on him. Um... So, that's pretty good. Um, but before we even begin, we have money to spend. Already. Present caps lock. It's gonna go, it's gonna go black for you guys, probably. Um, cause I just need to get to the tier thing. Hey, there we go. Okay. So, on screen now should be the, the tier for professional. So, obviously, Tanglewood starts at zero. We, we gotta have a map to go to. But, Edgefield and Ridgeview are 350 each. Uh, Willow Shoot is 400, just cause it's a little special. Um, then we have Grafton and Bleasdale, the farmhouses, which are 600 each. Then we move up to the, the, the medium-sized maps, High School, Maple Lodge, which I might have to switch to Camp Woodwind just because, for some reason, Maple Lodge has a lot of lag issues for me. Um, and then Prison, which is 750. Um, and then Asylum, the big, the big A, I guess, that sounds weird, uh, is a thousand. Which, to be fair, we have a thousand right now. So, in the, in the last video at the very end, I messed up the whole, like, the money system. But in editing, I fixed it so you guys know what's actually going on. Um, so the actual total of the money that we have is 1,317. Which is ludicrous. So, I reckon... Now, there's a couple things we can do here. I'm, I don't need revives, obviously. And... I, I, so what I can do is I can buy all the maps, so I can buy some maps with the money that I have, or I can remove a trait and buy, a, a, like, a, two less maps or whatever, or I could just spend all of it, essentially, and buy Fast Couch Co-op. Um, I don't know. Uh, the thing with Fast Couch Co-op is I would want, I would want, like, 6,000, because I can buy this and then immediately buy this, you know what I'm saying? So, it just makes more sense. To do that, because if I go in and they die, I lose money because of that. I think I lose. T uh, I think it's somewhere that I, I noted it somewhere that I think I lose 200 or 250 or whatever it is if, if someone dies. And that's per person. So it's really not a good idea to do that because Zach doesn't play regularly, is what doesn't play regularly. So it'd be kind of dumb. I guess that's part of the risk, right? Is uh, to do that, but still. Um. Now, to be fair, Fast Couch Co-op doesn't mean they would be in every episode up to that point. It just means I can bring them along to get to do extra money. It essentially means I have a safety net because I could, if I'm at, like, 50 sanity and I don't feel like I could go in again without dying, I can send them in. And, of course, they could die, but at the same time, they might live and actually get more stuff done for me. So, it all depends, um, but I'm not going to go that route. I'm not going to buy Fast Couch Co-op. What I am going to do is I want to buy, so this would be... That'd be what, eight? Is that 800? Three? No, that doesn't sound right. Hang on. Uh, so buying both buying both maps would be 700. Okay. So be so buying Edgefield and Ridgeview immediately would be 700. 
Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. All right, here's here's here. Here's what we do for those keeping track at home. We're gonna buy Edge Edgefield and Ridgeview right now. So that's 350 plus 350, which is 700. So we lost 700 dollars, um, which is okay by me. Um, which that brings our total down to 617 right now. And with that 617, I mean we're not gonna use all of it, uh, but with that money, we're going to remove a trait. So we're gonna be down to 117, right? Because it's 500. Yeah, so we're down to 117. But I'm removing a trait. Um, now, t remember, there's only one t thing on here, but I also didn't remove any traits from the amateur tier, uh, for the amateur tree or the intermediate tree. So I still have two of those left. Um, so I'm gonna remove, I could either remove bold, which is what Ryan has. I can remove Dots Fever from Omar, which that's terrible. Or I could get one off of Lizzie, which would help with Lizzie, I guess. Addict is kind of, uh, Addict is kind of the worst because I need to take a pill as soon as I go below 90, which is terrible. Because I basically use all the pills in, like, 10 minutes. Um, Chef is more so annoying, especially on a big map. So, that's also there. Disloyal, I don't need, that's not gonna, I don't need to worry about that until, like, I even play with someone. Tidy means you have to, if a ghost moves something, you have to pick it up. I remember that one. I think I'm gonna get rid of Dots Fever. So, Omar is gonna get rid of Dots Fever. So, Dots Fever, for those that don't remember, Dots Fever means he cannot use Dots ever. If you if I play it as Omar, I cannot use Dots as as in any type of scenario, whether it be for evidence gathering or for getting a photo of the ghost, whatever. I can't use it. Um, but I'm getting rid of that off of Omar right now for 500 bucks. So there we go. Omar is a clean man. So or clean slate, I guess is what I should have said. Okay, so we have Ridgeview and Edgefield right now, which is stellar. So let me just write this down. Uh, Edgefield and Ridgeview. Okay, cool. And uh, let's get back to the game. <laughs> um, but there we go. So we have Ridgeview. I am going to do Tangwood on our first mission because it just makes the most sense. Um, and we are on the professional, so let, let's do this thing. All right. Here we go. We've had no reports of violence, but keep an eye out. Julie Kemper? I didn't know that was a name possibility. So we got uh, Parabolic, Crucifix, and Hunt. Great. Fabulous. Awesome starting objectives game. Um, Kids with three-star ghost photo. I could do that if it has dots. Or if it does a ghost event and I happen to have a camera. Um, also, I found this out while playing Fads with Friends, uh, which will be coming out at some point. Um, that you can pick these up. <laughs> I've been trying to, like, with, because with this one, I'm just there. It's eye level, so I can just look at it. But with the weeklies, I kept doing, like, this and this, try, trying to read them. But I can just pick it up. So are perfect investigation bonuses on Nightmare or Harder. That's not happening today. Hear Parabolic sound in the microphone. I need 10 more of those. Uh, take three star footprint photos. 50. Yeah, that's not happening. And I already did the prison, or I already did the challenge mode for this week, so. Which I didn't record, but my goodness, that was the hardest thing ever. Because you have no sanity, and the ghost, uh, and you don't get pills or smudge or crucifixes, so. It's like, well, great. Um, okay, so here's the two new things. We have the new EMF, the new spirit box. Um, I'm going to just show the EMF for right now. Uh, this EMF, this tier 3 EMF, is ludicrous. Um, and I'll show, I'll show you what I mean in a second here. So if I turn it on, and I don't know when the ghost will do something. But if I turn it on, and the ghost does something. Uh, first let me check hiding spots. Okay, that one's open. I've been playing a lot of, uh, custom games where I don't have hiding spots, so I hope I can relearn that I have hiding spots now. Uh, this open, this one is not. That's a shame, because I like this one. The ghost typically doesn't come in this room very often. Oh yeah, let me check, uh... Okay, that one's blocked off. Bone, not seeing anything. Okay, so you heard something, you just heard something. I'm going to presume that was in the kitchen. Yep, so what it does is it pinpoints the location of the item. So it looks like it threw this kettle. Or this plate. Yeah, look, it's the kettle. So they threw this kettle here. Um, and it point and it tells me the EMF value. So that was EMF 4, and they were standing right... Yeah, they were standing right here. Which is crazy. 
And it's Zima 4, okay. Um, so, it seems like they are in here. Six. I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of the tier 2 thermometer anymore. Um, is that the bone? That is the bone. Okay, good to know. Uh, that was the mirror I just saw. Okay. I gotta get used to seeing the mirror and stuff too, because, again, I'm playing a lot of custom games, because to me it's the best way to level up. Um, in this game now. Because, like, Insanity's good too, but Insanity's crazy. I think you get one evidence. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I think you get one piece of evidence. And I'm not good at, like, nightmare shenanigans where... I mean, the Fast Frights has a nightmare tier. So we'll get to nightmare eventually, but... I'm not good at deducing... That's EMF 5. That's so cool. Where, which, oh, you threw... Nope, not that. Okay, I don't know what the EMF 5 thing was, but we have EMF 5. Um, are you technically in here? Like, where are you technically? 6.2. 8.6. Okay. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this. Okay. Team of two. I don't know if I mentioned this. Um, you have to put touch on a lot of doors. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, because the last video... Was the last video the first video of the new update, or what? I can't remember. Um, if it... Whatever. Whatever the first up thing was. That's an interesting graph. Okay, EMF 5 also. Uh, EMF 5. Uh, can't deconfirm or anything else yet. Uh, can it be a demon? Cannot. Um, let's grab spirit and this because it's touching a lot of doors. And then, yeah, so this spirit box it looks amazing, first of all. And second of all, it has a much higher chance of getting the ghost to talk to you, which is, if you compare them, they were kind of, it's kind of. It's almost like what it was before. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? How old are you? What do you want? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Fingerprints, okay. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you French? How old are you? Okay, so that looks like a negative. But we have a positive on fingerprints. I want to get out of here and take a pill before I die. Um, okay, so we have EMA 5 and ultraviolet. So we got Jin, Goryeo, Obake, Myling. Uh, one of these is wrong. Freezing is correct. Writing is correct. Spirit, bo uh, spirit box is wrong anyway. Fabulous. Okay. So I'll take. Uh, I'm gonna take a pill. Now the way this new system. Whoa. <laughs> now the way this new system works is that things are consumable, so you have to rebuy them even if you don't die. Um, we're not counting that because that wasn't. That didn't exist before the game started. Um, or before the series started, not before the game started. Obviously, it didn't exist. Um, yeah, I'm gonna place the two books down. I, I'm excited for what the tier three book is because it looks cool. It might just be a cosmetic thing because I'm pretty sure all it does is boost the interaction amount. But which they interact pretty frequently on this one, so gotta get a photo camera in here for these uh, interactions and uh, everything else. It's going to be one of those ghosts that, like, at the very start of the mission, they're crazy. And then as soon as they bring in a camera, they're going to be stupid. Okay, so I think you're technically in the kitchen. I had lower attempts in the kitchen. I mean, they're right next to each other, so they could be wandering, but... I also have to get used to, like, the frequency of interactions and stuff, because... Okay, they seem to be, like crossing this threshold quite often, so. Uh, just in case it's freezing. It's three. Fourteen. Four. Five. Five, yeah, so I, I don't think it's freezing. We'll keep checking it. 
And unfortunately, you have to do that with the tier three. I'm excited to see what tier. Th uh, sorry, that's just a tier three. I'm excited to see what the tier three does because the tier two one kind of sucks. The tier one kind of sucked a little bit. Almost not as much, but it still kind of did. Uh, this please. What do we got? Dots, writing, orbs. I'm not seeing orbs. But I have tier two, so I can rotate this. <laughs> Just in case it's technically in this room, which it shouldn't be, because that'd be dumb. But I've seen stupider things before. Hoping it's dots, because then I can get a three-star ghost photo and get that bonus up there. I also need to use the parabolic a little bit. No? Nothing? Okay. Here, I'll bring in... This and a crucifix. Not that I wanted to use the crucifix, but, you know, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so let's see, I need to get a picture of... It could be a gin. What's a gin? It has not turned off the breaker at all. Be writing, probably? No, it'd be freezing. Okay. I mean, it could be. I've had games where it said it was freezing, and I never got it, but... Oh, that's a, that's a bug. Uh, writing seems to be dormant right now. So yeah, the high pitch thing is even a five. That's cool. Do that spoon there? Or no? I don't know what you threw. Okay, whatever. That's the point. Uh, let me grab this bone. Also, I found out after I found out after the fact. No, that doesn't help. This is almost too bright. Um, I found out after the fact that the bone is required for a perfect game. So, in order to get a perfect game, you need you need to uh, have three star photos. That actually doesn't matter what three star photos, as long as you have three star photos. So, a ghost. Was that dots I just saw? Ice. I swore I just saw dots. Am I seeing things? Am I going crazy? Might be going crazy, guys. Probably have to sit in the dark and wait for it. Yeah, so you need to get a perfect game, you need to get three star photos. Doesn't matter what three stars, so you can get a ghost photo or not, doesn't matter. You need to complete all three objectives. And you need to get the ghost step correct. That is the three things you need to do to get a perfect game. So, unfortunately, we didn't get a perfect game on the Asylum, which I think would have been like a $200 boost, which would have been timed by times. How is it eight in here? What? Get out of here. It is very clearly in here. Oh, whatever. You're moved to this room? Yeah, what? whatever, ghost. Whatever. It's almost doing too many things right now. Okay, um, I'm gonna leave my photo camera here. I'm gonna go get the second crucifix and check sanity real quick. Because <clears throat> we're unprofessional. This is where things get real. Sanity is 70. I'll take one for the road here. Give me the second crucifix and maybe the parabolic maybe? Or what do I need? Yeah, yeah, I need that anyway. Okay, cool. Alright. Give me some noise. Okay. Oh, did you move the book? Uh, do me a favor, stay there for a second. Okay, that's it. We got it. We got it. It tried to disappear. It tried! There we go. Here's their ghost photo. Okay, there's one there. I'll place the other one here. 
Um, you're kind of distracting me from taking a picture of this, though. Oh, is this the broken hand print? Hang on. They might have fixed it. I watched Insom play this game, like, played the day, the day it came out, and this, this particular hand print was broken. Let's see if it is. No, they fixed it. Okay, cool. That is the exact hand print, though. I remember, I remember it distinctly. I love that you have to charge it. It's so cool. Okay, I'm going to close these doors so I know which door it touched. Huh, that, like, muted me when I wasn't even holding it. I don't know if you can be holding it while something's happening. I don't know if that's how that works. Let me, uh... There's also a glitch where it, like, stays on the number you're holding. Three... Okay, it can't be freezing. Even though I totally think it's a gin right now. Like, I'm one million percent think it's a gin because it's not turned off the breaker yet. Like, this has to be freezing somewhere. Two... But, like, it's refusing to give me freezing. If it is indeed freezing. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rule out ghostwriting right now, whatever that is. Because it's not that. Oh, you know what I think it is. Hang on a minute. Gorio's an option? Okay. You know what I think it is. I saw dots when I was in the living room, technically. Right? Oh, I'm frozen? Okay, there we go. Um... I saw him in the living room, technically, and there we go, got that run right. Now, we're not getting a perfect game, but I'm just trying to fill up the, the book here. Um, we got dots when we were there, I think, if I'm seeing stuff correctly, but let me just, like, leave the room here. I'll go watch from the truck for a while, because if I did see dots, it was in the living room. Which is not the kitchen, right? And if I... And when I tried to stay in there and wait for Dots to happen in the room, it never did, right? Yeah, that's Dots. Right there, that's Dots. Yeah, that's absolutely Dots. Okay, so it's a Goryeo. One billion percent is Goryeo. Even on Nightmare, I couldn't figure that out. Okay. So, with that being said, we apparently got a Paranormal Sound. Oh, it, it's active when you're not holding it. That's cool. I mean, it's on, yeah, but I thought you had to be holding it to get that. 750. Yeah, we've gotten two, apparently. Crap, I'll just take this. Give me this one, too. Why not? Um. What else? I mean, we really can't do anything else here. I don't want to use too much salt, because then... Because those are consumable now, so it's going to take money for me. Isn't it facing down? No, I guess it's not, but... Okay, now let me know what it is. Uh, give me this. There's so much crap strewn about that even still I might not know what's a uh, what a through. Touch the door. Man, you love this door, don't you? Okay, we need four more, four more photos. Yeah, I don't know if you need this to be off while it's happening, I'm not totally sure. I think it's always destined to land on its face. I'm trying to have it stand upright. I don't think it's possible. Ooh, hey, there we go. I mean, it's not, it's facing upward is the problem. 
Yeah, I don't know. I think you might just need to hold it. I mean, we got one without even holding it, so I don't know. Unless paranormal sounds count as it throwing stuff, because then maybe I heard it while I was holding it, but I'm not totally sure. The range on this thing is ludicrous. It might have moved, based on me not hearing anything happening. I mean, it's technically in this room. No, it's still here. Just not doing as much. Gorgos are usually boring, so I'm glad this uh, this one is at least interesting. Yeah, it's still it's still technically in here. Oh, you went in there, did you? Threw one, of, threw one of these things, okay. Well, touching a door would be great. Touch this one? No. Touch the lockers? Nope. Come on, man, I need four. I mean, I could use a candle and get interactions out of that. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna shut this up, because we don't need a ghost photo anymore. And not that we were gonna really get one with that, but. Oh, hey, a door. Microwave. Well, it's not an Oni. Or Oni. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get out real quick. <clears throat> Gorios take, I think... Alright, uh, Gorios, I think, are like 55, like every other goes. I am... Okay, but I'll, I'll take my last pill, just because I'm here. Did I get any more paranormal sounds? No. Just threw that. Um, let me take... How many more photos do I need? Just two. Okay, what I can do is take a candle. Oh, it's gonna go in the rain, isn't it? Nope, never mind. It's an immune candle. Uh, let's place it there. I don't do it yet. I need to go grab my thing. gonna do it as soon as I as soon as I turn this corner yep see what I mean yeah you can take a photo of that now so that means it was just crossing that threshold again is that the same handprint I don't know how long they last in professional I'm gonna wait because I don't know how long they last I'd ra much rather do something else with that. See, was that 17 considered a thing? Probably not going to get anything else. Do this. Maybe they'll walk over it and say something? I don't know. Um, here, let me go grab a lighter then. So I can just get the last photo that I need. Because if we can get all photos, then hey, we're sitting pretty. Oh, before I do that, is there any photo that I should have that I'm missing? Bone, mirror, ghost. Nope, we got everything. Just interactions at this point. Cool. Um, so let me grab the lighter. I'll just grab this one. Lighters are consumable, so let me grab this one. 
I mean, they're like 30 bucks, so not really too concerned, but hey, 30 bucks is 30 bucks. You blow that out instantly? Holy crap, you did. <laughs> That's a world record, ghost. All right. Oh, my job's done. I'm not doing the crucifix because I feel like I'd die. Um, plus, uh, I'd have to sit in the dark for a long time at this point. Because, yeah, we're sitting at 90 sanity. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just not going to worry about it. Or, hang on, hang on, hang on. Or am I crazy? Because we have level 2 incense. Which level 2... For those that don't know, level 2 incense slows the ghosts when they get smudged. Ah, uh, see, here's the thing, though. I, well, I've been watching Insum, and smudge sticks are kind of broken right now. Where if you smudge it, they can still kill you. If, if like, So what, what will happen is you smudge them, but they just happen to be still walking towards you. Even though they're technically not coming after you, they're still walking in your path. And if you get caught in that, then you die, right? Um... This would be real risky, man. It'd be so unbelievable. I'm just think I'm just thinking here. Here's my here's my logic, right? Because if we were to do that, then we have a like we have we have a perfect game. Because we have the bone, we have uh, all three star photos and we know a ghost of this, right? I almost want to do it. I think we I think we do it. I, listen, I know you might be calling me crazy right now, but I think we do it. Because there's also a crap ton of hiding spots over here. Like, we have this one, we have that one, and we have this one. Or no, we don't have the bedroom one. We have these two. Or, if I really wanted to, I could do it in the basement. But I might choose this one because it's closer to the door. My only concern is that if it spawns in here, because then I'd be in trouble. Uh, this is this is this is real stupid. This is real dumb. I also need the crucifix to actually work. So I'm hoping that it stays in that room and never leaves, because <laughs> that'd be helpful. I'm gonna go. Can we open this door. Boo doo 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 Sounds like a phone call. All right, guys. Well, unless anything interesting happens, I'll uh, cut to. I'll probably cut to. A hunt or something happening whatever cuz uh, I'm gonna be sitting here for quite a while Alright guys, here we go. Here's the hunt. This is real dumb. Okay, is it over? Whoo, it's over. Okay, we definitely got that. <clears throat> Dude. Whoo, that was stressful. When it came around that corner in the garage. Oh, I was dead rock bottom. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, but, yeah, when it came around that corner, dude. Oh, I was in trouble. Okay. 
This should be the perfect game. We have three star photos. Let me just double check this. We have three star photos. Um, hang on. Bone, three star. Honda Mirror, three star. Ghost, three star. Fingerprint, three. Three, 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 three. Three, three. Okay, perfect game. Could this be... No, it shouldn't be a mimic. That would be absolute tragic. No, because it would have needed to be freezing or spirit box, which it's neither. So it is not a mimic. It, it has to be Agoria, one million percent. And then we have all three of these. So this should be a perfect game. We're out of here. We are out. Welcome back. It was Agorio. Paranormal. Yep. Crucifix. How come you get 30 for some of them? I don't understand that. 1,000. Dude, we are going to make bank off of this mission. Holy crap. First of all, let me just skip that because I'm not going like, to get to the next level anyway. Dude. 1,000. It's like we didn't even start. 1,900 and... <laughs> Sorry, 1,300. I just said 900. 1,395. That is absolutely ludicrous. Um, so let me just bring up my... I think we had 100, 117, if I'm not mistaken. We did. So adding the total that we had from that, we have 1,512. So 1,512. That is crazy. Okay, we have... <laughs> $1,500. That was mission one, guys. Because we do two missions here. Unless it's a me medium or large map. Um, we unlocked Edgefield. Ooh, yeah, Edgefield. Mm. I'm just worried about Edgefield because there's no hiding spots in the main floor, really. Well, there's one, if you have it. Yeah, let's go there. Because we don't have Willow. I mean, we can, <laughs> we can buy Willow if we need to. Hang on, let me pull up my uh, thing here. Yeah, Willow, do we just buy it? Do we just, what do we buy here? Like, we have $1,500. Um, do we just get off of, like, professional immediately? Like, is that what's happening here? Um, let's do... Yeah, let's buy Willow. So that's going to set us back $400. Um, so that leaves us with 1112 But we have Willow now. Um, or we could... Well, not or. We just did that. And 600, 600, so would be 1,200. So we're just short of buying both Bleasdale and Grafton. Let me buy Grafton. Um, which will leave us with 512. But there we go. Okay, so we have so just to just to recap everyone that's uh, listening, they're not like actually watching or whatever. Uh, we have five hundred twelve bucks. However, we have Edgefield, Ridgeview, Willow, and Grafton in the first episode of Professional. This is ludicrous. Um, so this is this is crazy. So okay, um, now, that, now that we bought Willow, I almost half want to go there instead. Um, yeah, I kind of want to go here instead. So let's go to Willow. And, uh, let's see if we can get another perfect game, shall we? All right, we're here. Take a look at the equipment and prepare accordingly. Okay. We the here we go. Ghost event, incense, crucifix. Okay. Report, but it looks like um. Left in a hurry. So the first two should be easy, depending on what the ghost is, I guess. Uh, crucifix, I don't love, but if it works, it works. Okay, we're not getting the, another investigator. I don't know. I don't like that that's a... That should be a weekly thing. Instead of being one, have it be, like, play ten times. Because, like... You play with, like, I get why it's a daily, but have it be, like, a weekly where it's, like, instead of 10, maybe be, like, actually, instead of 10, you should probably do 15 or 20, because, like, people will play, like, 10 games in a row and stuff, so that's nothing. So, like, one here? Like, that's just a free 100 bucks. Um, Parabolic's really the only thing we can do here, because I'm not getting 50 photos, obviously, of any of anything. But I'm not really too worried about that, especially considering they don't multiply anyway. Um, let me bring what I usually bring. I'll bring my this and this. Level 2 or level 3 EMF is legit the best thing ever. Like I said, I'm excited for tier 3 of most of these things because they'd be all new. They'd be all new items. Ooh, a sunset, my favorite. Um, but they'd be all new items. So it's like I get to try different things. Oh, there it is. There's a sunset. There's sunrise. Same thing. 
Dude, I like I said, I really want to like have like a day variant where like you can turn it to day. You don't get as you don't, you don't you barely get any rewards, right? It's one of those things that you turn on and you'll have like no rewards out of it. But I'd love to just like ghost hunt during the day. That'd be so funny. Um, I'm holding this around. I want to first of all check hiding. What? Oh, hi, Bone. How you doing? Uh, you moved what? Oh, on this table. Yes, no? I don't know what you moved. Okay, well, I still need to check for hiding spots and stuff. Breakers in the basement, because of course it is. Okay, we got this one. We got that one. Ouija board. We also have this one. Okay, we have all three hiding spots in the garage. Also, I think I just heard another thing I did. You're doing a lot of stuff. Um, oh, you're throwing this. Are you technically in here? If, yeah, see, I don't love that you have to hold this. It's 11, so probably not. Let me go in the basement. I also need to check what the hiding spots we have down here is in case we get caught with our pants down. Which I'm hoping is not... Okay, we have this one, but I've been told this one sucks. So, I'll hide here as a last resort. Uh, do we have the good one, though? No, we don't. Darn. Yeah, then, then there's none in here. Unless this is a hiding spot, but I would doubt it. I'm pretty sure the ghost can see you. If you can see the ghost, then they can see you. I think that's how that works. Uh, let's get this breaker turned on. There we go. Okay, we know the bonus. We don't have to go looking for that. We know where the Ouija board is. So good. We just have to figure out where the ghost is... Where is where the ghost technically is? Are you in here? No, fifteen. Are you technically in the kitchen? Nine. That was uncalled for and unneeded. In the garage, maybe. Nope, sixteen. I don't understand where you're meant to be. You're throwing stuff in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, you have to be in here. This this thermometer is just lying to me. Yeah, this thermometer is just a, this full of garbage. That's what I think it is. So let me grab some more stuff. Let me see what my sanity is too, because that ghost event probably took some. That was not an only ghost event though. That was like an actual ghost event. Seventy. Could still be a demon, so I'm taking it. Um, let me take spirit box. It hasn't touched a... Well, no, it's... Nah. It hasn't touched a door, I don't think. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? What do you want? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Let me try in the garage. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? How old are you? <laughs> yeah, see, good thing I, that's why I check so often because it's stubborn sometimes. Let me just put that there for right now. So it is in that room. It's just being finicky. Okay, so spear box is in evidence. Let's do that. Let's grab. I'll grab dots and a camera. I mean, yeah, and the tripods too are like, they're basically the old tripods, except these can turn. Cause I think the tier one is like a, like a terrible version of what they used to be. You seem to be mostly, let's say you're mostly in this corner, but it seems to not be the case. 
I place one on that side and then one on the other corner. That way if I know if they go in the kitchen area. Actually, I don't need two cameras anymore. Typically, I would put two cameras in there, but because it can rotate, I don't need to do that. So what I can do now is take this and this. You do need two dots, though. I mean, you don't need two dots, but I like having two dots because it makes them do it a lot faster and a lot sooner. I'm going to place this over here. Go grab crucifixes. Or actually, I'll probably watch the cameras first. Check if it's a ghost orb or dots ghost. Nothing on activity. Okay, can I move this to where I can see both? Yes, yes I can. Hey, we have Orbeez. Orbeez. You remember Orbeez? Okay, so right now it can still be a mimic. So I want to point that out to myself. Seems to be right in front of the camera. Is that an orb that just refuses to leave? What is that one? I know I saw orbs. That's Are you technically... Are you technically in the dining room? Does the dining room count as a different room? Because they're kind of connected. Oh, there we go. I saw orbs again. Yeah, okay, so you're over there. So it looks like you're directly in front of the camera, which is where the dots are technically. They're on the corners, but if you were to move in the corners, we'd see them. Can it be a Gorio? No. Oh, one of these things is wrong, by the way. Um... Dots is correct. Five is wrong. Ultraviolet is... Okay, ultraviolet's wrong, meaning if we get ultraviolet, it's 100% of mimic. Ghost writing is correct, and freezing would be correct. Okay. Let's check freezing, because it was lying to me earlier. Um, I'll grab two crucifixes. Now, the problem with the kitchen is that I don't know where it's roaming, so I'd have to, with the crucifix, I'd have to hope that it does it. But, the benefits of the crucifix is that I, um, what was that? That's oh, a rag. Is that, uh, I can just stay in a hiding spot with my stuff off and just be in there. Not seeing EMF 5 just yet. Hold in there. One. Negative one, baby. Okay, we got freezing. So it's an Onryo. Oh, wait. Nope. It can be a mimic right now, still. So we need to get for. We need to go check for UV. If it's a mimic, um, that could pose a couple problems for different reasons, but. Hopefully it's not. Uh, UV, please, and I'll take in taking a photo cam because I need to get the bone and stuff and the Ouija board. Just in the garage there. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll just if I'm waiting for the crucifix, I'll just go in the garage and hide in one of those spots and never leave until it's over. Do you have this one? You do not have that one. Okay. Touch a door recently. We won't really know. Okay, well, I'll leave this here for when it does do that. We got the boner over here. And then we gotta go get the Ouija board. Ouija board. I'll touch the door somewhere. Now on uh, on my games, it just touch that door. 
Not seeing fingerprints. So it's an on Rio. Which is a problem because I would farm interactions off the f uh, of the what do you call it? Of the candle. So kind of sucks. Uh, well, that's is wrong anyway. So get this out of here. Shut these up. Um, I can turn on the lights. Never mind, you turned out the breaker. Fabulous. Thank you, Ghost. Appreciate you doing that. Yeah, so I have to farm interactions off of... I guess salt, or if it does enough stuff, I guess. I guess I just wait for her to do something. I can also still smudge it while it's in here. I was gonna take a picture, but then I, I realized that I didn't know where it was. And I didn't want to panic take a picture. Yeah, it's negative five. Okay, that's my cue to leave. Um <laughs> thanks for that. It's that stupid like invisible bottle, dude. I can't I can't ever see where it is. Uh 60. So we'd be okay as long as we didn't blood candle, but she's gonna take a pill anyway. Um I'm gonna smudge no I didn't, because I can't I didn't I brought my camera. But I can smudge it anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna smudge it so that we get that objective. Hopefully thus making it more active. That'd be fabulous. I mean it's active right now, but you know what I mean. I love the burn time of that. Okay, there we go. So we got that. We would just need the crucifix, but I want to get my photos before that happens. What's nice is you only need to bring one camera now because they have they are all unlimited. Which I think is a great change, personally. It's kind of annoying having to be like, oh, well, I'm out of five photos. What, what kind of photo cam has five photos? <clears throat> and it's not like they're consumable. Because that'd be weird. <laughs> okay, I don't know how long ago this was, so I probably shouldn't take it. So it's good at pinpointing, but it... It would, imp it would imply you did the microwave. Right here. Um, I want to close this. I want to close the door so I know if it touched the door. Come on, ghost. I smudged you. Do something. Well, I think my only choice is to use solar candles at this point, because it's really not doing jack. I'm going to check to see if it's still in this room, but... It's not doing anything right now. Yep, it's still in this room. It's just boring. Okay. Well, I can bring... I can do salt for... It has no UV, though. So, like, it's... I'm just getting this... I'm just getting the three photos from the salt. I don't know, man. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring in this... I don't know where I dropped my other lighter, so I'm just going to bring this one. I'm going to place a lighter and a smudge stick in the doorway for me to leave. Not this doorway, but, like, the doorway for me to, like, escape. Or I'll put them right here. Get out of the way. Um, that way, if it... So I, gotta, I just got to use candles at this point. It's not doing anything right now. And I don't... And I, for the salt, I'd only get three, so I would do that as, like, a last resort kind of thing. Um, I bring two candles. <sighs> uh, this is also under the assumption that they blow it out pretty, pretty often, you know what I mean? 
So I'll place one here. And I'll place one here. Uh, I can see this going very badly. Okay, so I don't know how much I'm cutting out of this, but it blew out. I just had to candle hope. <laughs> That's what it really all that was. Okay, so now I'm just hiding. This is a hiding spot, right? Actually, this might not work. That might not be one because it's not there, I think. I think it has to have the board on the other side, right? For that to work? I'm not sure. This one, this one I know works because I'm sitting here. So now we just wait for it to do the crucifix, and we should have a perfect game again. Because we know it's an Unreal. Um, we'll have all three objectives. I actually did get a ghost photo. Again, I don't know what I'm cutting out, what I'm not doing there. Because I was honestly not talking. Is that the crucifix? No. Um, I obviously, I wasn't talking too much, but I did actually get a ghost photo because it did, it like, evented me or whatever. Um... And then the rest are just the key. The rest, if you t uh, we had the bone, yeah. So we should have a perfect game here. Assuming the crucifix actually works, which are better. There's two of them, so. All right, did a crucifix. I'm out. Peace, bro. Get out. Okay. Cool. All right. So again, this should be a perfect game. Perfect games all around today. Making making up for the asylum mission. Really, sixty? Huh. Sixty-five even. I didn't know Andreas can hunt that. Wait a minute. Oh, we only checked UV once, right? And we weren't even sure it was on that door. Okay, there's a world. How many? I have one pill left. Hang on. But it's not doing anything. It's not touching any doors. Okay, let me try that pill and let me just see where I, I would be. There's a world where it's the mimic. And I don't like the thought of that. Because Spear Black's freezing and we would need Ultraviolet to confirm. Because also, Onryos are supposed to like have a chance of attack if they blow out a candle. I They blew out all these candle photos here. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven times without it initiating a single hunt. So, also 95, yeah, I'm going back in there. Because, like, I don't know, man. But I'm not touching the candles because now I don't have a safety protection thing. I just don't like the world where there's the mimic. Okay, give me where's my EMF thing? This door, correct? Oh my goodness. I knew it. I knew this was a freaking mimic. I knew that this was a mimic. Because we have ghost, uh, ghost orbs, freezing, spirit box, and fingies. Meaning when I heard the door the first time, it was mimicking an aunt or a bake because it didn't show the fingerprint. I am so glad I checked that. Holy crap. Get him out of here, dude. Get him out. Get this mimic out of my face. That would explain, okay, that does add up why the Onri, quote unquote, Onrio wasn't attacking me when I blew out the candle. Okay. 
In 66, what would that have been mimicking at that point? A Raiju? Raijus are 65, I know. Demons should be like 80 to 90. They can hunt whenever. Um, I mean, there's some early hunters. There's the Moroi, which would do it by then, probably. Yeah, I'm not sure what it was doing, but it was I mean, probably Raiju. Raiju is typically a 65, so that would make sense. But that would explain why it never tried to kill me when it blew out the candles. That does explain that. Okay. So yeah, just to recap, we have Freezing, Spirit, Ghost Orb, and and Ultraviolet, which is four pieces of evidence, meaning it is the Mimic. If we are playing on Nightmare and we got three pieces of evidence, then it would be the Mimic as well. But we're not on a Nightmare. The Ghost type was a Mimic! Dude, I am so glad I checked that. See, Incense was 30. I don't understand that. I don't understand why sometimes it's... 30 and sometimes 25. What I do understand is that we just got a buttload of money. <laughs> we just got $1,325. That is ludicrous, dude. Okay, so again, to, to recap, we had 512 left over after what we bought uh, with the maps and stuff. But adding on 1325 that gives us $1,837. Dude, if I could buy the Asylum right now, I would. But I have to, have to reach there first. Okay. Um, so let me get off of this screen here. And uh, let me check what the what I can buy here. <laughs> um, so, like I said, we have Grafton. We have Willow. So we have basically so we have basically everything except for Bleasdale in terms of the small maps. So let's just buy Bleasdale. I mean, it makes the most sense, right? So, buying Bleasdale with 600, so that leaves us with 1,200, 37 to be exact. Um, but we have Bleasdale now, so that's fun. Probably do the farmhouses next time. Or we do Edgefield of Ridgeview first, I don't, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we got Bleasdale, so that's important. And <laughs> do we just buy a... Or is there another trait I want to remove here? Before we do that, is there another trait that I want gone... Um, Tidy is really the only thing preventing me from playing as Stacy. Just because it's annoying. Um, Lizzie. Lizzie has Addict, which I don't like. I might save it because if I, I don't want to get, I don't want to take off stuff that I can deal with right now. Because, like, Dot's Fever, for example, I, I wasn't going to deal with that. And, like, if I get something else that's similar to that, where it's like, oh, I'm not dealing with that, then, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I think we gotta buy another map here. Um, so, we have 1,200. So, let's buy... We can only buy one. Let's buy the... Let's buy Maple Lodge, because, like I said, I think I'd have to switch it to Camp Woodwind, unfortunately. Um... But even still, Camp Woodwind is 750. So that leaves us with 487. Um, which is where we'll be stopping for today, obviously, because that's where we're out of money. I'll still put Maple Lodge, uh, just so I know what we have. But dude, <laughs> we unlocked basically this, um, this entire bottom tree today just from playing Tanglewood and... Uh, where were we just now? I already forgot. No, seriously, I'm having a brain fart. We're, we're, what? I can't remember where we just were. My brain, or my, dude, brain farts are the worst. Like, I, I, sh I totally would know, but I somehow don't. Um, oh, we're on Willow. That's right, Willow. Um, yeah, so we basically unlocked this entire tree down here. So we have... Just to recap, Tanglewood we already had because it doesn't cost any money. But we have Edgefield, Willow, Ridgeview, so the three normal houses. Then we have Grafton and Bleasdale, for the, so we have both farmhouses. And we have Maple Lodge as well. We are literally two maps away from being able to unlock Asylum. That is ludicrous. Now remember, the reason I say two maps is because I don't have to technically go to every location. All I need to do is buy them to be able to unlock the next thing that I can buy. Um, and the way that I have to unlock Asylum is I have to I have to beat High School, I have to beat Maple Lodge, and I have to beat Prison, because those are the things that are connecting Asylum. But, 
I mean, I guess technically speaking, I have to go through all the, uh, go through the tier system any, or like the thing anyway. But still, you know what I mean. So like, I don't have to go to Edgefield. I could skip right to Grafton since I have the money for it, or I could skip right to Bleasdale because I have the money for it. Um, so next time, guys, we might do the campsite just to see if we can do it. Um, and uh, if we can do it, I want to get it out of the way just real quick. If if we do end up doing the Maple Lodge. Um, and there's not a lag problem. I, I, I only really typically have a lag problem when there's when it's fast with friends, so maybe it won't be as bad. So maybe we can skip uh, stick to Maple Lodge, but uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll we'll worry about that. Uh, we didn't have any big maps or medium maps today, so we're not gonna we're not gonna spin for anything. But thank you guys so much for watching. On the left, you can check out the Fast Frights plays. Has about like 30 episodes so far, and if you're watching this in the future, it probably has probably. It's ended already. Um, but go check out the previous episodes on the left. And then on the right, check out the regular Faz playlist. We'll have all my regular Faz related stuff in it. Um, like Faz with Friends, like I just mentioned. Or Faz Couch Co-op and stuff like that. Um, and then if you like the content you're seeing, please consider subscribing. I try to finish every series we can, except for Luigi's Mainz. Because Luigi equals Luigi, and no one likes Luigi. He's basically just a green Mario. I mean, really. Um, and uh, also, we have merch. So go check out the, the merch store at the very bottom of the description. The uh, very bottom of every description, really. Um, all the products you see there are permanent, but any products that we're going to be doing for events or something, those will be, like, temporary, or, like, they'll, they'll be, like, limited stock or whatever, so go, uh, save it as a browser or something, whatever you want to do, or, or if you like something you see now, go ahead and get it, it's up to you. Um, also, me and my friends have a podcast. So you guys can listen to any type of stream platform, whether it be Amazon Music or Spotify. Those are the two big ones, but you can also check us out right here on YouTube uh, in audio format still. Um, if you go to this very YouTube channel, just go to the homepage and go to the podcast tab. It's right there. It's ordered from the top episode being the like the oldest episode to the bottom one being the most recent. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.